say, como é o I'm Cavani, like, como é Puli. Yo, this is crazy. Like, yeah. I can't understand everything you're saying. <laughs> Hi, I'm Abdon Jr. And in today's video, we're talking about St. Lucian Creole. And you're watching Charis Maggie TV for the culture. What up everyone, Karis Maggie here and welcome back to my channel where I encourage you to submerge yourself in culture and live meaningful lives. Welcome also to another episode of Fitter Culture. Today I'm here with Abdon. Did I say your name correctly? Yeah, Abdon, okay, yeah. Okay, cool. And he is from St. Lucia. It is about time mm -hmm. <laughs> that I had St. Lucia featured on my channel. And a bit later on in the video, as you can see by the title, we're going to be learning a bit more about St. Lucia and Creole, which I'm very, very excited for. So thank you so much for being here with me, Abdon. You're welcome. It's a pleasure being here with you as well. <laughs> um, if any of you have noticed, you will see a lot of these videos on my channel because from the Mauritian um, versus Haitian Creole videos, some people have reached out wanting to share their Creole with us, which the more the merrier because I didn't even know about some of these. So I'm very excited for this. And you can find these videos in the playlist, which will be provided in the description below. So we're going to get right into it. I want to know every little thing mm -hmm. about St. Lucia. It's on my bucket list of a place I'd like to visit. Um, so for those of us who don't know probably where St. Lucia is located, please tell us, Abdon. Sure. So St. Lucia is located in the Caribbean Sea. It's like 14 degrees north of the equator. It's right between Martinique and St. Vincent. So it's um, to the south of Martinique and to the north of St. Vincent. It's not really that far. You could see both islands um, on a clear day. So like it's really beautiful. Okay. Um, and that's where we reside, yeah. The, mm -hmm. Cool. Okay, so then it, it's in the Caribbean, and I, I noticed you said it's near to Martinique and St. Lucia. So what is Saint the Vincent. official... St. Vincent, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> no. um, what is the official language? Um, The official language is English. But... Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, continue, sorry. But majority of everyone, like everybody else, speak Creole, like if they know the language. It's almost used more than English. It's naturally, it's just a second language. Like it's a natural thing that in certain places, in certain communities, yeah. that's their official language. All right. Oh. So that they just speak Creole naturally. You know, it's like, yeah, that's their thing. Okay. All right. That's interesting. We'll get to that a bit more in depth later on. Mm -hmm. Um, so you know, I, I I don't know that much about St. Lucia. So if you were to want to let someone know you know when it comes on to like trinidad everyone knows soca immediately comes to the mind when you think about jamaica reggae music and beaches or whatever what mm -hmm. is it that you would say saint lucia like yeah like, yes this is what we're known for <laughs> well we're known for a little bit of everything actually soca we have carnival during oh, okay. summertime so we have two days of carnival monday and tuesday we have a lot of uh, local artists that make soca groovy and um, power soca so they would make songs you'd have like competitions and stuff like that um for the well we follow local artists so reggae we have a lot of artists dance all, all of that um beauty we have a lot of beaches we have a driving volcano where you could go to the sulfur springs and have a nice sulfur um, bath you know that's where you get 10 years younger that's what they say <laughs> you know that's where you go rejuvenate um diamond falls a lot of waterfalls so we just have a little bit of everything you know the beach, the party, the mm. music, the natural, you know, just nature, like, you know, just a natural experience. You feel like you, you know, at paradise, a little paradise, yeah. Okay, a little paradise tucked away there. Okay. Yeah. So, yes, definitely on the bucket list. I need to make sure I make a visit. For sure, for sure. <laughs> sure you love awesome. one of the best experience. Oh, we have a day called Juno Creole. A day for really? Creole, Creole Day. It's celebrated on the last Sunday of October. So everyone would dress in the African attire. We'll have a lot of food. Every community would have the different cook-ups. Like, everybody will, like, come together. That's that day, you know? Like, so if you come around that time, like, wow. come on, come for that experience, you know? Like, the last like, Sunday in October, you said? Yeah. Okay. Creole. All right. Getting into St. Lucia and Creole. So mm -hmm. I think the little, very little that I know about it is that it is French-based. So... Yeah. What I was told even was sometimes those who spoke Haitian Creole were able to understand it. 
Um, can you explain a bit more like the official language is English. So how did it come about for, you know, one of the curls in St. Lucia to be French based? Yes. So um, our islands in Lucia were, we were colonized 14 times, seven times British, seven times French. Oh, so <laughs> there are a lot of back and forth <laughs> in, in that happening. Um, actually, there was a time in my dad's time, um, Creole like, they, they he speak a lot of Creole. The family speak Creole, but in schools they didn't want you to speak as much Creole. They'll teach you to speak English, so you weren't allowed to speak it. Um, mm -hmm. But to now, like they try to modernize it for the children to learn Creole at a younger age. So it's now on this language that we try to teach at school, so now everyone could you know understand the language. But it was um, like from the slaves, like the African descendants, you know, French base and. They mix a little bit of the French vocabulary with their own African native dialect. So it's a mixture. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Wow, y'all been through it. Colonized 14 <laughs> times by two different. <laughs> wow. Yeah. But we're okay. independent right now. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. All right. So wait, before we continue, is there any like other Creole languages that you think when you hear it, you would say, yeah, it's similar to these ones, like closely related to those other ones. Any that you can identify? Well, mm, the well, the, Domi the Dominicans speak Creole, so we could un understand them. Uh -huh. The Mauritian a little bit, like oh, from the video, I was understanding quite a bit. It's quite, quite similar. Um, okay. The Asian Creole, we, you know, uh, it's quite similar. Oh, um, but okay. there are certain words that are just different. Different. Now pronounce it. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. So I want to get a bit more about this mm -hmm. curl to see if I can really understand it. So sure. we're going to, you know, have you basically teach me, I guess, some phrases, mm -hmm. some words, common terms, you know. So sure. we'll start with some easy stuff. Personal pronouns. You know, sure. so the I... Or my, you, she, they. What are those for um in in Saint Lucia and Creole? Okay, so I would be moi. You would be o. Like um, so there's nu. There is um, you could say zot um for like yeah, like kosakale um nutiale mm -hmm. um kohu ale moi. Mm -hmm. Moi bien, so me, um, they, well, I think that's what that'll be. Lee, there's a Lee as well, so. Lee yeah, is yeah. she and he, yeah, right? It's, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, so then, yeah, it's technically the same, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so if I wanted to, you know, ask someone how they were doing, how would I say that? Okay, you ask, um, como, um, kimanyo cafe, um, kimanyo coafe. Uh-huh, kimanyo cafe. Kimanier u cafe. So Kimanier u cafe. Yo, that's so crazy. It like has a mix of Mauritian, like I'm pretty like Mauritian curl. It's um mm -hmm. Kimanier or something like yeah. that. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it properly. Yeah, Kimanier. Yo, that's wild. Okay, cool. <laughs> it's pretty close. <laughs> How would I say something is? All right, what's your name? These are common things you ask people. <laughs> Um, you ask them, um, Kino. Kino? Yeah. Oh, wow, that's very yeah. simple. Kino. Yeah. Wow. Huh. Okay. Okay. Good stuff. Um. So we already did, how are you? So how would you say, like, I guess, good morning and good night? Mm -hmm. So bonjour, bonsoir. Bonsoir? Yeah, both swear. Oh my goodness. All right. So I get what you mean when you said that it's similar but different because like Haitian Crow, from what I know, Boswa, right? So yeah. okay, okay. okay yo. <laughs> we, 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 we have something there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so like if I was to go to the market and I wanted to know the price of an item, how would I say how much is this? Or something like that. Um, so I'll say keep we um if it's like probably bananas or something like keep we keep we sorry keep we figla so keep we the it would be the what price like what's the price so how much uh -huh. um so that's what we say keep we whatever you have selling or it's actually keep we oh. wait what say that last one that's how much yeah this is insane 
Say, Kumel I'm Kavanli, like, Kumel Puli. Yo, this is crazy. Like, yeah. I can't understand everything you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> it's so crazy because it's like, yeah, when you right. hear it, when you hear people say, yeah, it's similar, it's like, yeah, sure. But mm. then when you hear it and witness it, it's like, yo. Wow. That's cool. That's very cool. Yeah, it's it's <laughs> <laughs> I know one fun fact, like there is this one word, um, it's debated, but it's it's kind of an obscene language because Creole, there's a lot of obscene languages as well. But yeah. in Haitian Creole and in St. Lucian Creole, it's different. Like it's the same thing, uh-huh. but the way they pronounce it in the beginning, it's just a different way. And uh-huh. it's been debated, like what's the proper way to use that word? Like, like I've seen funny videos about like, which word is correct like you know like the oh. Asian way of saying it or the St. Lucian way of saying it which word <laughs> yeah, is that, that but it's... can I am I allowed to say it um yeah I'll say it phrase if you know the phrase that Abdung is referring to leave a comment right now for those of you who are not sure but you're a bit curious this part of the video is exclusively available on my Patreon along with other bonus content so click the link in my description box now back to the video so there's little different things like it's similar it's have the same meaning but we just have a different way of pronouncing it but i guess it would be yeah yeah we can understand each other to an extent yeah for sure because it's different but like as you said it i was like i know what that means <laughs> right <laughs> yeah <laughs> let me tell you some phrases and you tell me can i tell you some if like, i can understand yeah okay all right okay. please Please don't crucify me, y'all. I, I see a lot of people like, her Her Haitian curl isn't the best. Yes, I know this. I've said this over and over. <laughs> That's fine. I'll, I'll take my time. Okay. Um, so, a tea woman, a tea woman, so they are tea door, it is a belter, a be, it just shows lovely, come see to be, a no take a spare, uh, sorry, no take a, no take a move it. Hold on, you're gonna have to do that. All right, sorry, yeah, sorry, I'll just try to put it together. I know, I know, a tea woman, so like, so like, it's a door, so so like, it's a door, and puis it shows la pli comme si it's a be, et nous tire de mauvais temps. Okay, so I pretty much got from that something about rain falling, and probably y'all weren't happy because the rain started to fall. Um, In the beginning, I think it said something like, it was sunny, mm-hmm. and then it started to rain. Yeah, and yeah. we weren't happy about that. Is that well, what you said? Well, well, we was experiencing a moveta, so um, moveta is bad weather. Um, bad weather. Yeah, yes. we use that Mo-beta. as a phrase here in Saint Lucia. So Mo-beta. we like it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's one of our phrases in Lucia, like moveta, like you know, like oh, yeah, bad weather, <laughs> moveta. Okay. Yeah, man, that's like yeah, that's our thing. <laughs> yeah. How do you guys say I am um, like good vibes? Good vibes. Uh, so, like Haitian Creole, I think the equivalent would be like "bomba guy." That's what I would equate it to. <laughs> yeah, Please yeah, b- me. Guy, guy, but yeah. the vibe part of it, like I'm just trying to think of the word we use for vibes. But you know, like, bo- like it's similar, pretty similar, like yeah, bo- like, "boba guy." Like if you say "boba vibe," like you like sometimes they would say the English word. For, they probably say the English word for yeah, vibe. yeah, so, "boba vibes." Okay, I get yeah. you. Cool, good things. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, give me another one. Give me another one. Um, all right, this one is from a. I'll give you one from all my songs, um, upcoming songs. But um, okay. it's like it's talking to a girl, but it's like um, saying do do my air man who, my pack I keep you, la vie ça a mauvais, mais t'es bon de me tendre mon baby, la vie qu'ai try marché, la ni le bel te cas passé. No pala pa konu mite boje mi talomu baby. Okay, so what I got from it because like, <laughs> yeah, I know you said you know like mm-hmm. something along the lines like my baby, I can't leave you alone. Mm-hmm. Um, what's the part you said after that? Sorry, if you can't repeat that part. La visa ha move mite boje mi talomu baby. So this life is hard. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But Mete Bodye Amita Lamunu. But God Mete Bodye Amita Lamunu. Um something about in the middle of us. Alamu yeah, Lamunu means love, our love. Lamu. Oh yeah. okay. Yeah. Okay, and when what was the other part? Um 
So, <laughs> after trying, oh, sorry. Um, uh, you know, that's that pretty much was it. Yeah, you pretty much okay. had everything like in it. Yeah, the bad okay, time. Okay, so I'm not too like, bad. I'm not too bad. No, you're pretty good. <laughs> you, you're pretty. Good. <laughs> turn up, turn up. Hey, <laughs> hey. That's cool. You know, so you said you you sing. You have yeah, music. Yeah, I do music. I have a own studio. It's my phone. Yeah. Oh, cool. Okay, so let us know your name so that we can go look you up, look out for your music and stuff like that. Oh, it's, well, um, on Spotify, it's Abdon GR, exactly out in the there. On the name, okay. Yeah, on YouTube, I'm Abdon, S-T-Y-R. S-T-Y-R means struggle to you rich. Not rich oh. as in money, but rich your goals. That's my yeah. record label. So that's nice. where you can find me. Yeah. Awesome. Man, <laughs> thank you. You're a real one. Thank you so much you're, for doing this video with me. You're welcome. <laughs> thank you for creating content like this because like if I did not see it, like I'll not like be able to like it's I thank you basically. Thank you for doing um, what you're doing, for giving people the opportunity to learn and understand there's other countries speaking Creole and like how we not that different or like mm -hmm. we could probably you know communicate. Yeah, with we can each communicate. Other, you know? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a nice experience, yeah. Man, this was awesome. Thank you again. And ensure to check out his music. I'm going to link it in the description box for you to go and check out. I actually want... Is this song going to come out soon or is it already out? I wanted to drop it this month. Okay. Um, just working on the cover art for it. Also okay. Nice. Yeah. All right. We'll look out. We'll look out. <laughs> All right. <Ben. laughs> thank you very much. Yeah. All right. And to my audience, thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to drop a comment. As I said, this is a way for us to introduce you to a new country, a new language. Let's get the conversation started. More videos to come for sure. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to do road and do things. And until next time, Maggie is out. <laughs> Love is a movie, my body on me tall on my baby. Love is a try machine, Lani le better capacity. No pala back on me, my body on me tall on my baby.